Hey folks, just a note on our uh, Sunday Zoom services. Boy, you're missing out if you're not there. We've got, I haven't looked recently, well over 700 members now in Livingstones, and it's a rare Sunday. By the way, it's 5 p.m. British time uh, that we do this thing on Zoom. It's a rare Sunday that we have more than 30 people in the church service on Zoom. It's a real church service now. That the Holy Spirit's not limited by distance. Now, we understand if, you know, you have a physical church you want to go to, wonderful. On, on the other hand, uh, if you're a real seeker of Jesus' way, and if you want to work out your salvation as the Bible commands. And you'd like a little help with that. You'd like a little pride every once in a while. Um, whether you're in a physical church or not, we'd love to have you with us. Uh, and, and you would benefit greatly from the teaching in our Sunday Zoom services. Uh, case in point, I have stolen a little bit of Paul's message from today. Now, I don't think Paul will mind because it wasn't his to begin with. And like Fred Price says, God gives it to you. It's yours. You preach it once. It's mine. <laughs> but uh, here you go. This was the, the key scripture we had today. And it was Jesus speaking in Matthew 12, verses 35 through 37. Now, Paul's main gist today was that we should not be flippant, but that we should be serious about our our faith walk and our words and our life in Christ. Uh, but here Jesus says in Matthew's record, chapter 12, verses 35 to 37, that a good man out of the good treasure of the heart bringeth forth good things. And an evil man out of the evil treasure bringeth forth evil things. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account of in the day of judgment. For by your words you shall be justified, and by your words you shall be condemned. Oh, there's a lot there. There's a lot there, isn't there? Uh, but our, our main just today was that we should beware of being flippant and and beware of saying things that that mean nothing or for that matter and this may be me adding it things that could be misconstrued things that could be a bad witness uh, jesus jesus said by your words you'll be justified, and by your words you'll be condemned. And further up again, that every idle word, every empty word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. Now, grace and forgiveness, yes. You bring it under the blood, it's forgiven, and cast as far as the east is from the west. On the other hand, if you think you're not going to have to give account of your life and of the things you said, you're greatly mistaken. Per Jesus. Now, th that's pretty much on the negative side of all that, right? But part, part of the message was that, you know, the universe was created by words, and upon God's word hangs the entire universe. He said, let there be, and there was. He said, let there be, and there was. And you see, this is the thing. If you're in his word, if you meditate in his day, if you meditate in his law day and night per... Uh, Psalm 1, then you'll be blessed. That's Psalm 1. You want to know how to be blessed? 
It's right there in Psalm 1. And, and you know, uh, elsewhere, Jehovah said, I set before you blessing and cursing. You have a choice. Why not choose life? Why not choose blessing? But but all that don't don't get me going here. Uh, Paul already did the Sunday sermon. It was wonderful. That's my point. Uh, we'd sure love to have you in Zoom. And if you uh, message Paul, he will give you the login information so that you can be there with us. And uh, we hope to see you there. It's a way to help work out your salvation. Yes, that's in the Bible. Look it up. And personally, I would love to see more of us in the meeting. Now, if you can't be there, you got other things to do, there's no condemnation, etc. But we'd love to have you there. I'm going to tag Paul in the comments, and if you want the login information, all you have to do is private message him, and he'll send it to you. Got to go. Hope to see you there next week. 5 p.m. London time. These days, that's British summertime. And if you don't know how to uh, convert that to your local time, you can private message me. And I will explain it to you. I got the lowdown on on uh, Greenwich Mean Time, UTC, and Ham Radio. We call it Time Zulu. But I can help you figure it out. It's not hard. Uh, got to go. You missed a great meeting if you weren't there today. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.